Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric. It's a 236G three-slot payphone and this is Max's equipment from California and this is the initial checkout of this really cool payphone. Now we want to run through a little bit about what needs to be done with this unit. Now Max is going to locate a vault door and lock with a key and we're going to take care of the front cover key. So we need to locate a key for the front cover because there is no key to this unit at this time. We also want to go through the transmit, the receive, and we want to troubleshoot our security handset cable. We also need to break free the caps for the handset. They are epoxied on, and we want to try to break them free for any future repairs that might need to be done. We also want to go through the coin validator. If we open this payphone and we find a coin validator, we want to make sure that all the coins are falling through into the cash box area. We also want to go through the rotary. We want to make sure that that is cleaned, oiled, and adjusted and that the numbers are racking off properly. We need to rewire this unit the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. So we will be reconfiguring the wiring to this unit. We also want to install a modular line port so that Max can simply bring any length line cord, any color he chooses, plug right into the modular port, makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We want to go through the hook switch, we want to go through the network, and if this Western Electric has the original style bell in it, we want to make sure that we go through that bell and that it's wired properly and that it's working. So we will be going through everything on this payphone. We want to get a start on this unit. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We're going to come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool Western Electric 236G three-slot payphone. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool three-slot payphone, and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now, I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts, 
it's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver and I have an amplifier back by the video it has a button on it when I press the button I can give dial tone or take it away at any time and since it's an open amplifier it is prone to any kind of static interference or noise in the atmosphere so if you hear a little bit of a staticky hum or an electrical hum it will be coming from the amplifier and not the payphone now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and run some change through this unit we went through the coin validator and made sure that all the coins were falling through into the vault area and we're going to go ahead and use a quarter and that's going to gong one time we want to use a dime that'll ring the bell two times we we'll use a nickel that will ring the bell one time we'll do another quarter one more dime and one last nickel now we also went through the rotary that was cleaned oiled and adjusted we went through the hook switch we went through the bell and bell circuit that had to be repaired we rewired this unit the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work we also installed a modular line port so that you can simply walk up to this payphone plug in any length line cord any color that you choose it makes for a simple easy plug and play connection we also removed the caps and broke them free from the receiver in case there was any future repairs that needed to be done they epoxy those caps on receivers now what we can do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle so we'll start that we'll let that go a few times I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone we can walk through our numbers if you watch the analyzer you'll watch the numbers roll by we have a nice smooth return on our rotary now I'm going to end in a two. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hello, hello. Go ahead and hang our handset up now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle it's dialing out we have transmit and receive we can go ahead and press a button on the switch box that gives us a line out totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone and we'll make that call We can go ahead and hang up we'll give you some dial tone we'll call one more number we'll call my number and it'll be busy and we'll make that call we can go ahead and hang our handset up now we also want to mention that we located a key for the front cover lock and we want to go ahead 
and show you that you want to press in on the bottom of the front cover when you're unlocking and locking the lock. That takes the pressure off the lock when you're unlocking it and locking it because the front covers are kind of spring loaded and you don't want to force the key. Now that we know that this really cool Western Electric 236G three slot payphone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Max and they can enjoy this payphone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.